Welcome back to Sportsbit Betting Insight today. Polly and Teddy, we have no Polly today. He's a little bit under the weather. So I'm going to do big game breakdown by myself right here on Sportsbit. Of course, big game breakdown sponsored and powered by betonline.ag. Visit Sportsbook Review and get the best bonuses, huge sign up bonuses for betonline.ag. You can get those today. Visit the site, uh, obviously, betonline.ag. And of course, sportsbookreview.com, who sponsors this show and is an excellent and reputable source for discerning what is a good offshore sports book and where you have no business sending your money. Thursday night NFL, Texans and the Bengals been nothing but Cincinnati money from the opener. We've all seen a fair bit of under money of late. Current numbers, Cincy minus five, 38 and a half. And look, this is just what the NFL wants for prime time, right? Now let's throw that graphic up there. The combined Bengals, Texans, offensive production from week one. Let's see. They had one touchdown, no field goals. They were sacked 15 times and they committed nine turnovers. Ugly offensive showings. Truly ugly from both of these squads. So who's going to respond better uh, on a short week? Well, we have a situation in Cincinnati. Andy Dalton, quote, We've got 15 more games, you know. We can't let the loss determine what happens in the season. We've got the right guys to handle this. Of course, how bad was Dalton in the passing game? <laughs> Look at the graphic. 36 dropbacks, 144 net yards. That's ugly. Oh, five sacks and, of course, the four interceptors. Andy Dalton had a very, very rough game. The Cincinnati Bengals had an offensive line. Had a very, very rough game. Game. And of course, that was a Bengals offensive line that was loaded with question marks coming into the season. They lost a pair of veterans from that line of free agency in the offseason, a pair of veteran guards. And the fact is, there were all kinds of questions about the Bengals up front. Those questions were answered in a very negative way against Baltimore in the opener. Of course, Baltimore's defense looks to be pretty rock solid. Now, this is a Cincinnati team. They're finally healthy at the skill positions, largely. And they don't have John Ross, but you know, the wide receivers are healthy. The tight ends are healthy after 2016 injuries. A.J. Green had an impact, uh, a minor impact uh, on the game. but certainly a, a factor for downfield throwing for Andy Dalton and company. But that offensive line is a mess. And there's one thing we know when we look at Andy Dalton's career stats. When his offensive line is a mess, when he's under pressure, Andy Dalton is a bottom-tier NFL quarterback. Of course, the question is, can Cincy turn that offensive line around? on the short week, but it may be even tougher for Houston. Certainly the markets think it's going to be tougher for Houston and the short turnaround period for the Texans. Obviously, this is a team whose late preseason preparations were affected by Hurricane Harvey. Uh, when it comes to the uh, offensive status, the Dwayne Brown holdout at tackle stands out like a sore thumb. And then, of course, now you have a QB dilemma. And I don't know that it's a dilemma, really, but the bottom line is, that Bill O'Brien has a choice. And there were reports that O'Brien has settled on Watson. There are other reports, namely the ones coming out of Bill O'Brien's mouth, saying, I haven't decided yet. Well, it's not an easy decision for Thursday night football. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at Tom Savage's number. I mean, playing Tom Savage probably does not serve any real purpose. He has three career, part <laughs> three career starts, 105 career pass attempts, and zero touchdown passes. Against the Jaguars, you know, he dropped back 19 times. He was sacked six of them. <laughs> they had 29 yards net on those 19 dropbacks. Those are not get another chance type of numbers. And of course, this is a Texans team that's been, try been trying to replace Savage, even as a backup, with basically uh, uh, every offseason the past uh, three years. So it's not like they have high hopes for Tom Savage moving forward. Of course, you know, Deshaun Watson was not that much better against the Jaguars. 27 dropbacks. He was sacked four times. A total of 81 net yards from the passing. It didn't hurt that Will Fuller, their deep threat, was hurt in that ball game. Fuller's status doesn't look particularly good for Cincy this week either. And of course, you know, the offensive line, they really had no replacement for Dwayne Brown. We're talking about a three time Pro Bowler who's been holding out and is still holding out. Bill O'Brien, quote, I think I need to do a better job. I need to do a better job helping them, meaning the offensive line. I think it starts with me. I thought the players played hard. They tried to do what we were asking them to do. I just didn't do a good enough job. So the coach uh, falling on the sword for his team, that's usually pretty good 
for the locker room. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.